Hey everybody, it's Brian from PB Homestead. I want to do the update for the midsize grow tent and I'm going to show you the uh, tomato plants that we've got sprouted up on the top up here. So let me grab the camera, I'll take you over there. Then we can talk about the lettuce and other stuff besides that. But the, the new and exciting thing for me is the, the tomatoes are up. And also you can see that I have added one of my little uh, plastic dome bubble tops over the top of this uh, propagation tray that I'm doing our tomatoes for the season. And and the back, I also added, since I had such good germination inside of here, I actually put uh, 10 pepper plant seedlings to start in the back of this tray. So they're, they're a week behind, but this is the one week growth you can see in there from all the tomatoes popping up. And it's kind of hard, let me see if I can get the camera up in here. But uh, the mat's wild, you can see this up front one here. So it looks like we've got uh, three that haven't germinated yet, but we've got, uh, you know, seven that have. Then we've got the Montesinos. Looks like every one of those has germinated, and they are the tallest. They were the first ones to pop up out of all of them. And so you can see there, there's 10 of those that have all come up. And then the pink boar, I was surprised. I didn't know if the seeds that I had saved would actually work in, uh, you know, because I that was my first time save, saving tomato seed. And uh, I, I threw like two or three in each one. So as you can see, there's multiple ones popping up inside of there. And, uh, then the Crimson Sprinter, they're popped up all back over there. So it looks like I've got really good germination rates. So that's one of the things that uh, I like to do with these little bubble tops, is it helps me get really good germination inside of these uh, cow manure pots, pots that I've got here. So then I'll take these and I'll put these into, you know, four inch pots once they get a little bit bigger. And I move them into the, uh, the large grow tent on the bottom shelf in there. Uh, we've got our lettuce up here. That's a gourmet lettuce blend. And it seems to really like, I mean, the, the rate of germination and, and growth that I've got out of this is really nice off of these new lights that I've got. These are those 45 watt King Bows. So that's something that you may want to get. And they're only, uh, I think 27 bucks a piece. And they're really thin. And then I've got two of them, you know, stuck together up here for this, this shelf. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, we've got our gourmet lettuce blends down here. They're growing along. And this one here, I sprouted and I think I had the soil on top a little too thick and part of it just kind of like crushed down on the other ones So I've reseeded this tray just a little bit So I've added some new seed on top there just to see what will happen and regrow a little area there And we've got our cut tray here Paul and I harvested off this this week and You can see that it's already regrowing and in another week We're probably gonna be able to get another cut off of that tray So that's actually a second cut tray So I probably should take this out of here because I've already got one cut off of it but I'll put a second cut in there. I have any of those laying around. And then we've got, you know, another gourmet lettuce blend here growing. And then we got two more down here. That same thing is I buried the seeds a little bit too deep on this tray. And so I've been doing some experiments and I want to try something a little different the next time I put my seeds in one of these trays. Um, I'm thinking about just stacking them on top of each other like I've seen uh, Curtis Stone do. And I don't know if I'll put maybe a piece of of plastic in there and then stack the next tray on top of it and then put a layer of plastic just so that way the seeds don't germinate and start to poke up through all these little holes we have in here so I got to make sure that I you know keep an eye on that just to try different things with these tents because you know doing the same old same old it's kind of boring so I like to try different ways of germinating the seed and spreading the seed and different mixes I'm using inside there so it keeps things interesting uh, other than that that's tents trucking along uh, Nothing really to say, no complaints. I do, I, I think, you know, from what I'm noticing, as you guys may notice too, it seems like it's taking longer for these things to grow now. And I think it's because I took out, remember we used to have the uh, the two T5 LEDs or T8s, can't remember what they are, or T10s, one of the two, that, I used to have these two white ones that I removed from the inside of this tent, one was over here on this wall over here. And I'm using those in the large grow tent on the bottom shelf. And it seemed like these plants would grow really fast compared to the way I'm seeing them grow now. And so after I'm done inside that tent, I'm gonna put it back in here and see if I can increase the productivity and growth because it just seems like it's taking a lot longer for these things to grow to a harvestable height right now. Because I mean, you know, I put these trays in, but I think this is like, second week end of second week and I, it seems like it was a lot taller than this before in the second week when I was doing the trays when I had those other extra lights in here that were shining that light directly back here that white light so something to something to note for myself and uh, 
we'll try putting those back in here in probably another couple weeks. Because uh, I, you may have noticed in one of my videos I had a, a, the bad LEDs, the ones that were on top up here. The company is actually going to send me replacement LED lights along with the LED current driver. And I'll just reuse the frame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those lights. I'm going to get my own, myself a new current driver. And I'll take those same lights and build myself a, a light box out of you know wood. And I'll use that inside the large grow tent as a, uh, another supplemental light that I'll be able to have. Because I mean, the only thing wrong with it really is I think it's believed it's just a current driver. And so if I get a current driver that I can actually hook up that's going to be higher wattage to drive those two panels, I should be able to just take the current good panels, pop out the, you know, just clip clip off the uh, current driver and put my own in there because you can buy them on Amazon for different wattages. So I'll try doing that myself. And then we'll uh, just some more experiments for you guys that want to do your own grow tents instead of throwing away lights if you think they're bad. You can always rebuild things. All right. <laughs> well, this is uh, Brian, the Shade Tree Mechanic LED Lights. Uh, talk to you guys again. All right. Bye.